Tesla earnings. Usually they come out pretty quickly after the bell. Main thing is kind of this 225 to 250 channel that we've been in. Could even say 215 to 225. I think if you get below 225, you can go towards 215 to 200 on Tesla. Below 225 targets 215 to 200. Above 225, though, off this reaction, and I think Tesla is able to bounce back up into the 240 to 250. Ultimately, you need above 250 for intense upside on a more intermediate term basis, and you need below 200, the psychological level, for intense downside. So that's the main thing I'm watching for here off of this report. If you can't get below 200 and you can't get above 250, then it'll just kind of be, hey, where are we at relative to 225? If your net base is holding 25, then it'll be setting up for a bounce. Net base is below 225, it'll be setting up to go lower. So we'll see what that reaction looks like. Final price in on the options market was a about a $22 to $23 move was what the options market has priced in here. So just about a 10% move, give or take. That's what the option market's looking for. Printing 229s right now. It doesn't have a ton of speed though, so it doesn't look like the number's out just yet. These are just kind of normal prints, I think. Alright, so it looks like we might have something here. Testing 235s. Little speed up on the tape. See if you get bid stacking in these 230s, get up near 240s or not. There was a little spurt. Made me think the number came out. Hasn't continued though yet, so... Alright, back below 230. It does seem like the number's out just with the way the level 2's kind of starting to jump around. Still don't have that big move though. That was strange. If the number was out, we'd be moving a lot faster than this. You are starting to get some orders. You've had some bid upticks. All right, now we're getting some 222s or 233s. You whip down really wide spread here, 24 by 27, kind of whipping around, trying to figure itself out. First reaction was a little bit of a spike lower, down to the low 20s. Now it's a 
but see if you start getting an ask commitment below 30 there's an ask at 26 all right so you're testing at 25 breaking below 25 here it looks like a move to the downside trying to defend 25 though bids, bidders back above it took the asks back down beneath it remember 25 is the level that to me you need to stay below 25 if you want to set up to go down towards 200 might be setting up for a reversal if she can hold 25 she's doing a good battle around it right now the bears obviously trying to keep it below it the bulls trying to defend it here and she looks like she might start to rip back into the t-30s so it looks like a failed move to the downside let's see if we can hold t-30 if you can hold t-30 you're gonna go up towards 240s some 35 bids can you hold those bids 240s coming here so looks like the market likes what it saw but the first move was so whippy really couldn't make up its mind so let's see if we can trust this looks like we can trust it to the upside at the moment Can you go 250s? Remember, for the intense move, we got to get above 250. Nice price action here. Backed off of 50, though. That's that channel top we talked about needing to get above 250. So far, it failed. See if you circle back down below 240. Trying to hold 240. Whacked out 240 bids. See if you regain it or not. Otherwise, maybe we come back below T30. This thing's all over the place here. Too early on in this reaction to, stay, to say, you know, for sure what the bias is at the moment it looks kind of neutral we are flat you know we had a little move down into the 220s then we had a move up into the 240s now we're back here right where it all started at 230 that's fine with me though you know these 170 puts these are going to be worthless tomorrow if she is anywhere around here obviously I mean she needs to get down below 190 180s for me to be in trouble on that position so I like what I see so far but a lot of time left she's defending 230 there it looks like can you get back above 240 though that's what you need to do to set up that 250 test Nice speed up right there. Came back up towards 240. Needs to take it out though. She's trying again here. Testing 39s. 
unable to break them though. Wouldn't be surprised by a channel move back down towards 230. Another test on 39s. Trying to regain 40 again. But again, sold into it on that 40 test. Not much of a reaction so far. I know we're up 10 points, but remember the options market was pricing in a 10% move on this thing. So you might go for that 230 test again. This thing's pretty messy here, you know, we've just been kind of slopping around in these mid-230s. Didn't get clean downside, I would say that you haven't gotten clean upside either. So let's give it a few minutes, see if you can regain 240 or come back down beneath 220s. That was kind of the spike low. It was 217 exactly, I'm just going to call it the 220 area. Got to either come back below 220 or move back into the 240s to you know, set something up here on a directional basis. Otherwise, I think Tesla just kind of chops around and doesn't see much of an overall reaction. So let's see. See where we're at five, ten minutes from now. So testing 40 again. You've got some bid stackers at 40. Let's see if they can start pushing. Your high so far in the after hours is 249. You came right up to that 250. Getting some stacking here. 42 bids. She's got a chance at momentum, but needs to keep holding these 40s. Looks kind of decent, 43s. Nice stack in the 42s. Let's see if it can hold. Wasn't able to hold 42, back testing 40 again. Got a bidder back at 41. Whacked it out though, you might come back below 40. Still really having a hard time making up its mind. You know, we said before the earnings came out, you got to get below 225 for good downside, set up that 215 to 200, got to get above 250 to set up intense downside, otherwise it's just going to be relative to 225, and you know, the channel resistance is 240 to 250, we've seen that channel resistance get respected so far, you haven't gotten much movement on, in the stock considering that it is Tesla you've whipped around, you know, you've got a wide range, 217s to 249s, but, you know, when the stock closed at 231 and you're sitting here only up five, six points, that's just not a lot of price action, or sorry, not a lot of price direction. So, still let it play out, you know. 
The session is still young. They've still got their conference call. Let's see where it's at 5, 10, 15 minutes from now. See if it's done anything more significant in the form of breaking back below 220 or getting above 240 and holding 240. We've seen a couple tests above 240 where it hasn't been able to hold. So you're back above 240 here, but still not really getting that big oomph, you know, that big push to the upside. And that's just going to be the main thing it looks like between now and tomorrow morning is can we get that push above 240 and if you can if you can get it and hold 240 then I do think 245 to 250 is what you're going to test and I would look for you know a potential 250 breakout to really trigger that kind of really nice intense upside type of day however if you're struggling to hold 240 I'm going to be looking for a gap fill on Tesla back down towards 230 and then just it'll be all about hey over under break even setup can you go red can you stay red if you can 225 to 215 comes into play but if you can defend break even then I'd be looking for a channel bounce back up towards 240 I do feel like we've seen characteristics of channel price action this afternoon on this reaction so I wouldn't be surprised if that's kinda of what shows up tomorrow the channel to me has been kinda of 230 to 240 I know we did go below 230, tested 220, but you only stayed there for a second. You've spent a lot more time north of 230 than you did south of 230. So at the moment, looks like over under 240. Check back on Tesla an hour from now for those of you that plan on trading it tomorrow and see, you know, is it up near 245? Is it back down below 230? Because that'll change things you know depending on what it's doing if you can get above 250 here after hours then that'd be a great look for the stock come tomorrow morning otherwise that's going to be the key resistance that I'll be targeting if you're above 240 and again I did place a bid to cover these 170 puts at one penny let me do that now placed them to cover the three contracts I shorted at 22 cents gonna look to cover at just a penny could let them expire worthless, which they will if Tesla is around here, obviously. But just what's the point? You know, to make an extra three bucks and save commission, you never know what could happen. Tesla, Elon Musk could die tomorrow. What would you think happens to the stock then? So just not even going to play that game. I'll still make 90% plus covering at a penny, which if you open around here, I'm going to get filled on that at the open, so that'll be nice.